Stewart, am I correct? You drive an Uber. Yes. An Uber driver for a living. And there's an automobile accident that's the subject of this case. Each of you claim that the other is responsible for the automobile accident. Yes. On what date did it happen? On March the 21st, 2016. What time? 7.30 a.m. And where were you going? I was on my way to pick up an Uber fare. And where were you going, Mr. Gonzalez? I was taking my kids to school. Did you have insurance? No, I did not. So that's why we're here? Yes. You were pulling out of your driveway? Yes. And you were making a left-hand turn? I was. Onto Eagle. And you had the light? Yes. So far, are we correct? Uh, there's no light right there. Is there a stop sign? A stop sign, as you can see, but there's no lights or anything. Okay. And? And I made the left-hand turn. I had proceeded about two car lengths onto Eagle. And as I passed the second car on my right, Mr. Gonzalez I hit me. Passed. There's two parked cars on the Show right side. Where. Sure. So as I Show me where the two parked cars were. See where the bushes are right there? Yes. There were two cars right there against the curb. So there were two parked cars there? Yes. Which partially obstructed the view of you coming out of the driveway? There was only one parked car, a white Toyota. Okay, so there was one parked car yes. there that you saw? Yes. As you were pulling out? Yes. Judge Judy, if there were two cars parked there, I would have been able to park. And instead of being in the middle of the street, I had to pull alongside the other parked car so that I wouldn't be obstructing traffic coming out. You mean after the accident? After the accident. Yes. Can I see the damage to your car? Yes. Mr. Gonzalez. Yes. After this accident, sir, the two of you stopped. And there's no question in my mind that Miss Stewart said to you, let's exchange information. What did you say to her? Um, I gave her my cell phone number. No, that's not the information. She did your driver's license, the registration, uh, and your I insurance. Told her, I told her I didn't have any of that because I had just purchased the car the night before that. And so I was on my way to so do you, that. Just a second. So you told her you had no registration. Yes. You had no insurance. Yes. And you were driving your car. Yes, I had just purchased Just a second. I don't care whether you just purchased it. You weren't taking it to the Department of Motor Vehicles. You were driving your daughter to school. Well, you were using not. the vehicle. So you had no insurance. And that's what you said to her. I just read some of the text messages. Okay. Did she say she was going to call the police, let the police come and yes, deal she with did. it? And what did you say to her? I told her that I did not have any insurance. I, that's right. What else did you say to her, Mr. Gonzalez, to inspire her not to call the police? Uh, I don't remember everything that I was saying to her. Well, did you say something like, we can handle this between the two of us, I don't have insurance, and I'll pay for your damage? Yes, I did. Not only did he say that, he said that he was expecting some money from school in the amount of like $9,400, and that he promised to pay for my damage. And, you know, I went against my better judgment because... It doesn't make any difference. He didn't have insurance. What he purposely... Nor a driver's license. Nor he had no driver's license? I had a permit at the time. You didn't show I, me just that. A, you, just a second. You didn't ask to see just that. A I, I, you didn't ask to see Just a second. Do you have a driver's license now? No, I don't. I don't even... Can I, I see Can I see an estimate? I don't even have a car no more. Just a second. <laughs> That's a good thing. Hey.